Oh no. Oh no. In the mid 80s, sanctions meant South Africa didn't receive the iconic M3, so BMW SA decided to build their own versions. First, the 3.2 litre 333i. With a dog leg gearbox and 145 kilowatts thanks to Alpina parts, the car became an instant legend. In the early 90s, BMW needed to compete in the popular Group N series. And still with no M3, BMW SA developed the iconic 325iS. It went on to win 20 of the 24 races it entered in 1993. Both of these cars form an integral part of South African motoring history and are practically irreplaceable. Which is why BMW have decided we needed to drive in convoy with a detail of armed security guards to keep us company. First up, the 325iS. <laughs> Everybody loves this car in Joburg. So here we are in the 325 IS and this is the car I've been looking forward to driving today. Um, man, I hope it lives up to the expectations. This is the Evo 1, 145 kilowatts. I am nervously threading this car through Joburg at the moment because this is a collector's item of note and probably South Africa's proudest moment when it comes to motoring. But let's see what it sounds like. Here we go. <laughs> oh, six and a half. <laughs> First thing I noticed, pedals are offset. The steering wheel is kind of in the middle, but the pedals are to my right. They do feel good though. This car has been completely built from the ground up. The chassis has been done over. It's pretty much a new car. Oh, that sound. Pedals are nicely placed for wheel and toe as well. Steering feels a little bit vague in that typical old school sort of way. Quite loose when, you know, when they just discovered power steering. Is it as fast as the modern cars? Definitely not. <laughs> Fiesta ST is probably much faster than this. Oh, six and a half. I couldn't, didn't dare go further than that. Okay, Liberty, here we go. Six and a half. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the seating position's quite high up. I feel like the steering wheel's down below. And it's also that weird raked setup. So the steering wheel's facing sort of tilted away from me. <laughs> but, um,. Everything falls to hand and I could feel myself if I needed to, I could hustle this around a track. Quite a scene here in Central Joburg. I've got the triple three at the back here. Uh, the IS up front. Middle of the hijacking capital of the world. In the two most hijacked cars on the planet. How's it? <laughs> <laughs> when you're driving a 325 IS through Joburg, expect to get a couple of cheers and thumbs up. Even hey. from this guy. Yes. <laughs> I'm in a 325 IS and it's raining. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Suddenly my senses are heightened. I'm hyper aware of everything that's happening. Because we've all got a story of a guy that we knew in Rylands probably that wrote of his IS on a day like today. So does the legend live up to the name? It's hard to tell what the kind of driving we can do today, but it definitely does feel special. And uh, that's exactly what this car is, a special car. So now, on to the 333i. I hope it's got power steering. The 333i came with a choice of either power steering or air conditioning because the 3.2 litre engine was so big, it took up the entire engine bay. This car is more rare than an Enzo. It's more rare than a P1 McLaren. There were 200 made and a, a handful left. God knows how many left. And this one belongs to BMW South Africa. So they were gracious enough to let me drive this thing. 
but the last thing I want to do is give it back in any other condition. <laughs> Smoke of steam or what? Oh no! Oh no! Our security details not here, so we are in the middle of Joburg with a triple T eye. <laughs> stuck in, in the, the side of, rain. in the pouring rain, stuck on the side of the road. So, I probably shouldn't Facebook Live this, eh? Turns out the problem was just a blown fuse that caused the electric fan to stop working and we were soon on our way. I won't be driving it very far because uh, the car's got some issues. They managed to, they think they saw that another fan is working now, but guys are just, they don't, obviously don't want to take any chances with this thing. This is, I'm going to be quick, triple three eye, dog leg gearbox, same goofy offset pedals, but uh, steering does feel a little bit better. Mm. It's quite, it's quite uh, vague in the center, but um, it definitely feels better than the IS so far. The sound of that gearbox whining in the background. <laughs> I'm not supposed to drive it too fast though. It just, it feels, it feels really tight. I mean, it feels well put together. The gears are notchy and precise and the throttle response is instant. There's a bit more power than the IS as well, even though the power is very similar on paper. The garage is up ahead and here we are pulling off and my time with the triple three is done. I've driven it. Well, I wish I could have had more time, but one day when I die, I too can say that I drove a triple three. All too soon, my time with the legends came to an end. In the last few years, I've been lucky to drive many remarkable cars, fast cars, drift cars, and even supercars, but none of them felt quite as special as these two proudly South African icons.